What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But let's go ahead and get into these updates. As you guys know, we lost another one in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And this time to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I was hoping that we can get game two of this game at least against them to kind of redeem ourselves from that first loss against them. But Tampa Bay has proven to be the better team on the field unfortunately with that though we had some players that suffered some injuries including ogan deji and richie grant both came out with ankle injuries on sunday against them um now it doesn't seem like it's a significant injury as Arthur smith is optimistic about them he said he feels all right heading until next week about the two rookies and, you know they've been in the defensive rotation throughout the past few games and right now defensively we just can't afford to lose anyone else now, in addition to that, it does look like Fabian Monroe also suffered a hamstring injury and left the game early and did not return. Um, no updates on him as of yet. But of course, it's early in the week. The team hasn't practiced yet. We'll get a full detailed injury report later on in the week. But good news though, Hayden Hurts is back. And it looks like he is set to practice this week good news for him as you guys know he had been missing action for the last three weeks dealing with an ankle injury and was on an injury reserve list now he's entering into a 21 day period in which he will be practicing with the team up until they decide to activate him from the injury reserve list to the active roster but with that move though it does look like tight end park and haste was waived from the team as you guys know he took the role in Hayden Hurts absence so that move it is a significant sign that Hayden Hurts will be activated before the Carolina Panthers game but of course we still have to let him practice a little bit and see how that goes um but also um Dustin Colquick has been also waived now you know he was on that COVID-19 reserve list but they decided to replace him by Thomas Moore Steed who actually had a good seat a good first game and actually won the nfc player of the week i guess that was significant enough for the falcons to go ahead and just keep him on that job so it's unfortunate for dustin but hey it's a competition nonetheless but also there are no updates on matt gono yeah, as you guys know he um was on that physically unable to perform list you know we've seen him with the neck brace no updates on him right now and as far as Kevin ridley also no update on him as he was on the non-football injury list dealing with his mental illness now I've been hearing some rumors about him being at that Alabama game um, this weekend. Now, I didn't see him myself personally, but it was a lot of people saying he was in attendance. Now, personal-wise, of course, that is not his employer. So, you know, maybe he's getting out and trying to get his, you know, self together and just enjoy a little bit of sun or whatever. But, you know, for Arthur Smith not having any updates on him as far as being his employer that's concerned though um it's good to see him out there but what is really going on at this point that's the question you know but of course we got to still respect his privacy as the falcons franchise have been um but like i said i think we might as well just go ahead and chop it up that calvin really is not returning to the atlanta falcons that's just what it is it just seems that way so what do we do now is the question you know going into next season but this is all i got as far as any additional updates i appreciate you guys tuning in to us once again go ahead and get us to 2k as you continue to subscribe to the channel also cash apps i appreciate you guys bringing those donations in cash app atlanta falcons nation you know this is just gonna keep us moving to the next season i know it's been a little rough this season as things have been happening but we want to get back into tailgating and enjoying our fans we would love to meet you guys okay so be on the lookout for some future plans of that and merchandise soon we we're hoping to have that rolling out sooner or later all right people to the next time this maggie t with the atlanta falcons nation and we are the nation and i'm out people peace